Let me talk to you about something today, and it involves cats. Those cute, fuzzy, furry little babies. Oh my goodness, kitty cats. Anyway, I thought I was so sick of cats, like, ever since I moved into our home, and, well, I grew up with a lot of cats. We've always had cats. We had this calico cat who'd always, like, burst out of babies, and we had this other cat named Nala after the Lion King. She popped babies out a lot. And then I lived back at my husband's house, and they had four cats. And I'm thinking, once I move out, I am so sick of cats. I don't want any animals, just the both of us. <laughs> well, I was so wrong. So we moved here late October, and a few days later after somewhat settling in i'm like exhausted and stuff since i had so much to do still and then someone rang our doorbell and i'm just like who is this a lot of people haven't known about our house yet and whatever i mean they did but they didn't know our address yet so i'm just like okay i'm gonna answer the door my neighbor says we found a kitten in our backyard and we were wondering if it was yours no we don't have cats here but in the back of my mind, I'm just like, oh my gosh, a kitten. I want to see a kitten. I'm like, oh no, Yanni, I can't do that. But at the same time, maybe I'm like, I could do something good today. I could look for this kitten's owner all over Facebook and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. My father-in-law ended up showing at the same time, a little bit after the neighbor came. And I'm just like... Well, we have to go in the backyard because my neighbor has a kitten to show me and stuff. And so we went to the back porch. And then the neighbor brought the kitten. He handed her right over to me. He's like, I'll leave her to you. I'm like thinking, okay, I got this. And when she went to my arms, she loved me so much. We just snapped with this bond we had. She was purring, she was going crazy over me. And this was like before my husband was coming home from work. And I was just like, okay, I'm gonna post this picture of her up on Facebook. I had to describe what she was. I found out that she was a Maine Coon. She had a purple flea collar around her neck. It made me think she had an owner. Then my husband came home and then we went out food shopping. And in the back of my mind, I'm just like, I wonder if the cat is still there. Cause I did put the information up on Facebook. And I'm like, no, I said I don't want cats. And I'm just like, but she is so cute. I didn't know what to do. Uh, we came back home. And then I just saw her on her back porch and she was just huddled, sitting there, chilling. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this poor baby. We're letting her inside right now. And my husband's just like, well, I guess I gotta go buy a litter box and cat food. We were having fast food that day, so I had Wendy's. And he went out with his friend to go shopping for stuff along with the cat food. I had to stay home to watch the cat so she couldn't pee anywhere. So I was on FaceTime with my best friend who I also call my sister. And while I was on FaceTime with her, I turned away for a second and she was already eating my Wendy's fries. I didn't even finish. And I'm just like, oh no, that is so bad for her. And I'm thinking, also, this poor thing is starving. I ended up eating bread, but I dropped the crust because I hate crust. <laughs> and she ended up eating that too on the floor. Like, she like engorged it. And I'm just like, wow, um, my poor baby. <laughs> I mean, like, no, she's not my baby. She's someone else's baby. I know how it feels to lose a cat, and I know how dreadful it is. I didn't want to get attached to her yet because I'm just like, what if her owner shows up? So many people wanted her on Facebook, but none of them were the owners. So my husband says, if no one claims her after a month, we are going to keep her. At the time, I'm just like, I need to make a temporary name for her. I wanted to name her after a Pokemon. My last cat's name was Meowth. I was thinking, I can't name her Skitty, because at the time I had a friend who had a cat 
also named Skinny, and I'm just like, I want to be different. I don't want to have the same name because I don't want to feel like I was copying her. What made me came up with this name is because she couldn't meow for any reason at all. Like, she would try to meow and nothing would come out. I think she was so dehydrated, so tired and hungry at the time that she couldn't even meow because she meows like crazy right now. Anyway, um, so I named her Mew. I call her Mew Mew a lot too, as her little nickname. So as you guessed it, after a month later, we ended up keeping her. No one claimed her. I was really happy because I was fighting myself because I really wanted her, but at the same time, I didn't. But the wanting her more grew over time because of how she acted with me. This poor baby, she has such an attachment to me. She has separation anxiety. We were used to sleep with the door closed and have her and my husband's dog separated because my husband's dog would eat the cat food. So we would have them separated from each other. And she never used to do this, but she started clawing at our door and she was starting to be able to meow more. She was freaking out. She wanted to be by me. And eventually we caved in because it was bad for her claws to just dig at our door like that. Plus she was destroying the carpet. <laughs> she ended up staying with us every night. We keep the door open just for her. She likes to play tag with me. As weird as that sounds, she would make this cute little sound that I cannot make with my mouth and I can never get it on camera. But like, it's kind of like a chirping cat noise when she sees me. And then she runs away. So I chase after her and then she hides somewhere. And then I would run away somewhere else to another room and she would be looking for me. And then when she spots me, she literally pounces or grabs with both of her paws around my leg. It is the cutest thing ever. I just never had a cat who was just so attached to me, so loving to me. I could actually call her my fur baby. She is like a daughter to me. I would never feel this way about animals. I grew up with so many cats and with her, me and her have such a tight bond. There's just so many crazy things that she does. So anyways, guys, let me show you just what kind of cute little baby my Mew Mew is. <laughs> Here's your babies. Here's your babies. Where's your babies? Where's your babies? She loves this chair. Don't you love the chair? Don't you love the chair? <laughs> I love you. You are so cute. Oh, I got your. You're cute. Did you know that? <laughs> You're silly. Oh my goodness, guys. This video took five ever. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. Comment below any stories you have with your pets. Preferably cats, please. <laughs> Okay, see you in the next video. Bye!